Uh, so how's it going? We are back with some more Final Fantasy 16. It's been a while, actually. It's been uh, almost a whole week or so since I last played. Um, yeah, we are making our way to our last crystal, it seems. Uh, I'll probably actually go for this side quest since it's technically on the way. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, let's go. I'm kind of curious, because you know, we're like, it says 75% done with the game, at least the main story. Um, I'm feeling after you destroy this crystal, we go into endgame. I also have a feeling the whole world will change, because um, it's slightly changing right now. We can all, use the ruins to cross the ravine. With all these clouds in the sky. The echoes have a will of their own. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see what happens. Uh, oh, I thought it was two of them. I was like, what? I can't fight two of these? I don't know how to play this game. Wow. Oh. Just back here. Regal Sash. I'm not sure how much more I have in this game. Especially if uh, end game stuff, you know, it's usually very time consuming. It's end game stuff, so it's a lot of grinding and super bosses. And I have a feeling, because again, throughout the whole game, we've been collecting all of these crafting materials that I have rarely used. Um, oops. All of these crafting materials, so many of them. <clears throat> Pretty sure we're gonna do something with all of them later on. Yeah. So we just gotta wait for that end game. Oh yeah, also got this new sash of some sort. I can get rid of this, right? I'm not using wind up anymore. Uh, what did we just get? get some sa oh, we got a sash. Oh, I keep doing that. Get the sash. Oh, it's better than what we got. Oh wow, it's very good compared to what we got. Um, yeah, we need to change out this one. The warrior, quick strength tonic, no. Combo damage by 5%. That'd be good. I think combo damage is like the usual, like when you button mash <laughs> to do damage. Lunge. Lunge is the stinger move. On thrust. Burning blade. I believe it's when you hold square. I do use it a lot, but. Maybe I should... Garlic Cyclone. I remember. I think it was Ifrit's other move that I didn't use. It has like an orb that rolls around you. Heat Wave. I don't know what Heat Wave is. <laughs> Some of these moves I just don't remember the names too. Uh, ignition. Cooldown. Yeah, I do use Ignition a lot, but... Oh, this is the other uh, Ifrit move. I'm not sure what the heat wave is. What if it's the uppercut? 
Uh, maybe I should just do gouge damage. 50% is pretty good. I know the gouge doesn't do that much damage. But I wonder if there is... A pile drive. Oh. I think, like, the color of the name kind of tells you which uh, icon it's from. I don't have any Bahamut ones. Flare Breath. I don't think I have Flare, flare Breath equipped right now. Let's just get some experience for now. I don't think I really need AP anymore. Because um, again, I can only have so many moves, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really using any of these. Ramu skills, Gruda, I'm still using. Aerial Blast. Using Star Cyclone, heat, oh, this Heat Wave. Oh, yeah, Heat Wave. I'm using that, but don't need to master. I pretty much never need to master anything. Look at real quick okay so I'm assuming right now I can only equip these onto the Phoenix because it's the flame yeah there's too much slots pretty sure one of them is gonna be Odin I wonder what the last one's gonna be unless there's more than two what could the other one be Odin I think Leviathan it's supposed to be one of each uh, element, so we don't have water. I'm assuming... What's it? Bahamut Light. Light. That is Earth. Electricity, wind, fire. We're missing... Oh, ice. Shiva. Oh, are we gonna... Afraid. <laughs> Maybe we'll just share uh, Jill's power. I actually don't think um, who's in space died. Um, I forgot his name already. <laughs> Dion, the Muhammad user. Uh, so yeah, maybe we can just take his power, or take the uh, Jill's give up powers. Just find out. Yeah, sorry. So, fuck that level game. or anything. Just keep on going. This way. Hmm. Oh, you jumped by something? It's a big boy. Oh. 
so much negative. Goblin coins. That's how there's no chest back here like the other area. Yeah, I can only imagine how epic the Odin fight's gonna be. Tell us about Yote, Joshua. She's strong willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. Oh, the Joker bow. Got a side quest coming up. I do. Where are you off to now then? Bangs for the free cities, perhaps? Oh. Cities. <clears throat> How long have you been here? <laughs> Laying here dying this whole time. You're injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? Ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. What? Turned. Every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. We can't let those monsters reach the. Oh no. He did. He'll go. Oh, he's breath. not dead. Right. He's not dead. Thank you. Oh, encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. They must not reach. Say, but yeah, you definitely <laughs> sounds really bad. Forgive yeah. me, Lord Kuka. Who that guy? Rest well, soldier. He's dead. <laughs> she died. Okay. You said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. They definitely seem like they're still there. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Good. I got here in time. Okay, so, how are you? 
time they'll see. Hope you've been doing well. Dying Republican told you. the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor. Hey, Chaos, how's it going? Where is he? Also, long time no see. How are you, been? His wounds were too deep. Any volleyball lately? Right to send you. Those things you slew were no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here. Here, yeah, take this. You've earned it. All my lunch money. Yeah, much of experience, nice. Doing alright, you have been going through my vids, nice. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I think you seem I'm very familiar. close to healing all the way. Have we met? For those who know, I've had a knee issue for the past like three months, and it's finally, God. it's finally uh, revealed to me that I had static nerve pain, <laughs> which made it hard for me to. Son of a whore! Son of a whore! But uh, in Costas when you killed my brothers, I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kuka is over. I bear no okay. ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Your Kuka shall be avenged! You barely stand. When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life will be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What do you know of oaths? Oops. I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. Oh. I won't be deceived. Oh, I guess we're killing him then. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... Some... Man. Like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not going to kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. That's an interesting thing, too. <clears throat> like, people get manipulated if they don't hear both sides of the story. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, we did, you know, kill Kupka's lover, Benedicta, but uh, it was her fault. <laughs> we tried to bring her back to the good side, but she just wouldn't hear it. So, and even then, we actually did not finish her off, technically. But she might have already been, I don't know. I can't tell if she died because of us or did somebody else finish her off. Because we left her body. She could have just been knocked out by somebody else. Finish her off. Um, but yeah, going back to my knee thing, I figured it out it was sciatic nerve pain, and through some stretching, I've pretty much uh, mitigated all of it. Uh, I just gotta build the strength back up now. And I also need to get back to working out and all that. <laughs> I actually weighed myself yesterday. And I'm actually five pounds heavier than I used to be. I've been trying to keep my weight at a certain level, mainly for my games, <laughs> you know. Because the you know, heavier you are, the more you like to work, jump. So yeah, I, I have been doing a lot more leading <laughs> and not enough actual exercise. Even if it's not volleyball. Let's need to build that strength back up. And yeah, get back to my normal old form. Yeah, it's been a while since I've uh, played normally. 
Have you been to Tabor before? Um, he's doing a couple drop-ins and excited for Saturday. Oh, Saturday is just another open gym. Yeah, I'm going to open gym tonight, Learn tomorrow, sure. and Sunday. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of there is a residence footage <laughs> incoming. She us I am definitely running out of space on my hard drives. Uh, and I'm too li I bought a external like enclosure for some hard drives. Um, pretty much a network, network stat attached storage. Because it pretty much uses Ethernet speed or internet speed to export it <laughs> onto it, and, it, and that just it takes too long, <laughs> and it, you know kills my bandwidth and all that. So I have to do it in spurts. And I should have been doing it overnight, but I didn't do it overnight last night. Uh, but yeah, um, got some good touches, good hits, and set. Well, do a good hitter, nice. I always feels nice. Ooh, that's our girl. Always feels nice to get some good plays down. Or even just good moments. It doesn't even have to be like pretty. <laughs> My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. If you've seen the, the recent I ones, from Wednesday, oh, I guess I upgraded it yesterday. Rosfield, keeper of the flame um, of the Phoenix. There's a lot of scramble plays that <laughs> ended up working out, which is fun. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations. Albeit from the shadows. She's the last one. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events of Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey. You're gonna watch my around. Wednesday ones. We only got to play four games, which kind of sucked. Right. It's six dollars <laughs> per Wednesday drop-in for that venue. I should probably ask to see how much it You're costs for a membership, but yeah, six dollars every time. I can never repay. Kind of pricey, but at the same time, I hear. I but did my duty. Up north. It's even more. Tell us <laughs> like what you've discovered. Even ten plus dollars for Your a grace. drop in such a uh, session. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystal Land. Oh, yeah, we only got to play four games that day. They were fun though. Very fun. It was the Iron Hair Yar. Beyond oh. any doubt. Hey, what? The Black Guardian. Joshua. What? The Iron Hair Yar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walu's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharn. That's Odin. Last. Oh, no. Last icon. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The road <laughs> Why is that guy knocking on the table? Us and all you can think about is commerce. Oh. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Oh. How dare you! Ah! Uh. <laughs> who made that? Oh, who made that sound? Distinguished members of oh, the yeah, council. this guy. You must forgive His Majesty. This. I guess he's Barnabas's right-hand man. What, did you, what is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, 
But I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashi. <laughs> like, nope. He's gonna kill them all. His gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate okay. a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong. But I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. Mm -hmm. Ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons! Not today. You're gonna challenge Odin. Enough. Bad idea. Yep. <laughs> Dang. Like he didn't even cut them technically. Yes. At least not physically. That you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. We did cut them. <laughs> Take it back. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Well, we're going to fight that guy, Harbard. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. So then... How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. He wants you. He wants Clive, actually. Clive's like this vessel that they're trying to like into like the perfect being so that I guess Ultima can possess his body. That's what they're going for. By the flames. Phoenix Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Naught remains of the faith it represents. Save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the Apollo tree meant. Even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. <laughs> no, I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? Lake. By all means. I'm talking about the hideaway. Okay. I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Um, Yellow Stellan to his sag Ilith. 
Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. Shields. Thank you. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you... Yeah, make a good I... couple. <laughs> Those two. You have my word. Oh. <laughs> Maybe they are. Farewell, my lord. My lady. We are in your debt, you say. Oh, but they're looking for her, I think, Yote. So, not sure if we should have sent her out by herself. So we'll see them. Maybe Let's it's find our friends. some other lady. I don't know. Oh, it could be a uh, mid that we're looking for. I think it was mid. That we're here to save. She's working on her airship. Any more side quests? Oh yeah, they are. It's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her. Which is why I had to let her go. To heed her call. Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Yeah. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade, that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Carava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity, but those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Eva's skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast? Now that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. All right. All right. I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the east gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Karala. I eagerly await your safe and, above all, triumphant return. That's good to me. How do I get to that side quest? This way. How are those new boots treating you? New boots. Are you? Yes. <laughs> Finally. Yes. No one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home, I dress a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures, the most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stairs in my stead? 
You'll be amply rewarded, of course. Oh, climb the stairs and... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. Assuming you know... You know your letters. That is. Know how to read. Some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to take his rich history into stones dotted about the village. Three of them, to be precise. One each to the north, south, and east. I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely, the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. A people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. I can't promise I'll remember everything perfectly. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. Make for the domed pavilions, and you'll have no trouble finding the stones. That's good. So I can do that now. Where's the first one, looks like? Children of the hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing and give praise for her gracious hand. Farmers oh. must have settled here in Tabor. I actually have to memorize it. <laughs> well, they memorize it for me. Quarries being hard to find since this guy's turned. I don't think I have to memorize it. Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone with pride. Recall thy noble past and make these rocks a home. What Golden Plains might the wanderers have called home? I wonder. Have you noticed the elder has been quiet? Hmm. Got a scratch on. So these stones to cover. Here's the last one. Hmm. Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor, a sacred. Hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. No history would be complete without mention of the mother crystals. I should speak to the old scholar before I forget everything I've read. I've already forgotten some of the things I've read. The engravings were in good repair considering their age. Oh, what that I could have seen for myself. Oh, come. Uh, don't tease me now. What did you learn of this place and its people? Uh, let's start with the engraving to the uh -oh. south, shall we? Uh, what did it say? It made me choose. It made me choose. Oh. So the crystal. Right, the crystal. The great good Mughal guardians. It's the guardians of the crystal. Guardians of the crystal. The first stones of Tabor. Sacred hold thy noble blood. Till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem what if it matters? Of this city were descendants of those give the right answers or not. charged with protecting the mother Probably. crystals. But oh, whatever could have driven the guardians so far from their sacred charges, I wonder. The engraving to the north is next, I think. Golden Plains. Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride recall thy noble past and make these rocks a home. Or, I think that was it, at least. No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs in Tabor its guardian roots could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now, for the final stone. Uh oh. Tillers of the land. Children of the hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so, we add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples, the final piece of the puzzle. 
three engravings, one for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor in ancient times. Guardians of the Mother Crystal, wanderers from across the plains, and last but certainly not least, hunters turned farmers. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those roots reach down through three distinct traditions. Nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known amongst scholars, given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. <laughs> Too many by far. Here, yeah, and thank you. Old man's lunch money. What did he give us? Yep, he's lost money. And a goblin coin. Uh, there's any other soul? Can't go that way. Locked off. It's inaccessible. Um, I guess we're teleporting. Teleport and then use uh, Chocobo. And teleport back. Good girl. Uh, Ambrosia. Faster. Still a little curious at how high our level can get to. Most Final Fantasies you get to level 100, but I'm only level 40 almost. We're pretty much towards the end of the game. And for the most part, uh, we gain about three attribute points. Like strength, magic, etc. Four panther. No holding back. So no thank you. Thank you. Skip all of y'all. Come right away. Doesn't matter. Go left. Let's try not to die because it's a very long trip back to this, this area. That's the last pair of side quests until um I guess after we beat Barnabas. Here's your hide. As requested. I worried you might never return. Quickly let me see it. Take it. Oh a 
as supple as a maiden's cheek, yet as adamant as her virtue. This is everything I had hoped for, and more. Clearly, my trust in you was not misplaced. You must be a hunter of considerable talent to have bested the beast with nary a scratch. Join me as my honored partner. With my means and your might, we shall be as wealthy as the merchant kings of Zemeckis. I don't plan on making a habit of this. I'm busy enough as it is. Trying to save Very the world, well. bro. Though I believe fate had a hand in our meeting, it would be unbecoming of me to beg. <laughs> Do not allow me to keep you from being about your business. Here, for the hide. For the hide. It's a... Uh, for the hide, we get bloody hide. Alright, let's do it. Oh. Yote? No, it's some hooded figure. Yeah, <laughs> like... Another messenger? Cyril! Oh, yeah. How fares the search? Well, Your Grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged, at my best. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. Yeah, baby. I am Cyril. Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace, Joshua Rosfield. Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many Undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is, and has ever been, our creed. I see. If you have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like every town we go to, we always... Buried, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. Get these if seals. No. You are dismissed. So that we can move freely Grace. about that particular city, but I think this one kind of throughout the lands. It's a canva there. We can We'll talk about this later. <laughs> he doesn't trust them still. Cyril seemed very um Huh? You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Seems what? <laughs> What's wrong with Cyril? It does seem a little shady, but it's kinda Wait, which way are we supposed to go? Oh. Uh, the other way, actually. Oh. Oh. So I could have left and it would have opened up that path. Uh, let's go to this little thing right here. Little arena. <clears throat> seems like. Are you sure this is the right way, brother? Not. Nah. We'll fight stuff real quick. Let's see what's in this area. The wolves. I'm gonna pick up desert roses. Oh, what? Oh, there's a hunt. They look like mouse dogs. <laughs> I don't know. The way they nose and whiskers look like a rat. There you see. It's just a lot of them. My sight total. I remember you're on my side. That's funny. Ow. I'm hurt. 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 I'
correctly. I guess that's why I don't have to worry about breaking them. Oh, they're all caught. That was a definitely easier one. This one was C rank. What that means? New hunts are in the. Uh... Yeah. Should have messed with the leader of the pack, eh, boy? Um, maybe that was always on the hunt list. It didn't just open up. Uh, let me see. Yep, yeah, just gonna go back the way I came. And yeah, just go to the main quest here. Good girl. Yeah. Somebody on the right way. Yeah. Got some more dudes. Oh. Then let us be rid of them. Desert roses. Oh, more dudes. Just up here. I wonder why they didn't really group up the wolves just now in the front. You got this way? Oh. Uh, maybe, but let's go this way for fun. I like you. Oh, 
that's a level one mega player. <laughs> Destroy. Not too bad there's no that way is an inaccessible, so that cart's in the way. Not too bad there's no chest this way. Another one's still alive over there. That's okay. It's just one little enemy. Dang it. I need to grab that item. More desert roses. Clive, smoke. Is the city fallen? Probably. Barnabas was here. Still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. I actually did my lower back stretches. I'm <laughs> very stiff. My neck's been stiff, too. I don't know. I think I just tweaked it while playing volleyball. Alright. I was in the side quest. Side quests. There's a lot of side quests, Jesus. Oh, I kind of just want to do this. Can't be that many, right? Is there so many side quests? Yeah, I'm a sucker for side quests. Kind of what happened in the uh, Final Fantasy 15. Only side quests and hunts. We're going to do this, will we? Clive. What? Your timing is impeccable. <laughs> it just so happens that right at this very moment, we're in need of someone with your talents. <laughs> I saw it on what the map. would those be? Why your fearlessness <laughs> yeah. and your skill with a blade? Being able to kill things. I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, when these dark skies swept over the Republic. So too did a wave of chaos and confusion. Randalar has been particularly badly affected. Many of the capital's bearers have lost their masters, or taken the opportunity to flee them. None remain free for long, of course. Most find themselves under the protection of the Fist before they get far. But the army too is in disarray, and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges. Which means, it has been looking to sell. And you've been looking to buy? To make sure these masterless bearers remain that way. Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free dozens more. And for an attractive price, no less. So where does my skill with a blade come in? Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, we have nowhere to house them. So we've been searching for a place where they can be resettled. Somewhere far from the prying eyes of those who would see them enslaved once more. And we believe we have found one. <laughs> Cashlock. A small hamlet Cash. hidden in a canyon. The place was abandoned a long time ago. But when the men moved out, the beasts moved in. And so we seek the aid of a fearless swordsman to encourage them to look elsewhere. <laughs> You'll help, won't you? Of course. How could I refuse? How could I, refuse? I like Excellent. characters. <laughs> Theo, 
If you wouldn't mind making arrangements for the transportation of our guests, as we discussed. Of course. Leave everything with me. Sounds like you'll have your work cut out for you. I will. We have an entire village to stock and furnish. Residents and all. Even if I begin right now, I'll be working day and night. <laughs> so I'd better get started. Try to clear the place out before the wagons roll in, won't you? I'll do my best. Let's go. You will find a village in Cherdra's Thread, past Lately's Cleft. My man there will open the gate for you. My man. All right. Wish me luck. I'm sure you won't need it. I even go back to the hideaway just to pick up the next uh, reputation reward. Which one am I going? As far as heck, look, we have teleports and chocobos. I just came out of the cliff. Run like the wind. Why is my HP restored? Uh, I'm going the wrong way. This way. Well, the gate's open. Is that her man that she was talking about? <laughs> uh, not really care about that. Mugger. Shoot stuff at me though. Uh. This must have been a nice place once. I will be again. for a really easy fight. I think that's the last of them. I think you're right. Let's head back to Boklad. So many desert roses. Yeah, these are just little like wing and fetch quests. Oh what? Something happened. Selling the matter, Theodore. Quiet. Oh. Those are our terms. I trust that you will give them your full consideration. I shall. Shady merchant. Thank you. Shady guy in general. Yeah. <laughs> Something doesn't feel right. Him again. Someone you know? Yes. And, uh, no. Oh. But enough about him. How did you fare down in Cashlock? It's all done. <laughs> but the village is safe now. You made quick work of it, as always. I should go and let Eloise know. Don't let me keep you. Uh, but Clive, 
Don't tell her I was watching her, will you? She'll only get upset. I'll explain everything once you've finished with your report. All right. We'll speak then. Who's that guy? Eloise. I just got back from Cashlock. The village should be safe now. Thank you, Clive. Here, something for your trouble. Well then, now that you have laid the groundwork for our little project, I suppose we'd better finish the job. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. You're still in negotiations? We are. A trusted colleague has been dealing with the fist on our behalf, but things have been trickier than we anticipated. I suppose it's to be expected. This is the army we're dealing with. Fighting's what they do. But we shall emerge victorious in the end. Well, if you need any help, you know where to find me. I'm not sure I do, but thank you all the same. And so that's probably gonna be uh, another side quest at some point. That merchant guy. Seems shady. Oh. Ah, Clive. You wanted to talk? The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's one of the bigger trading houses. I don't think I've heard of them. Well, every trader in Darmakia has. They operate across the length and breadth of the Republic. And they're still expanding. They've been trying to get Eloise to join their ranks for some time now. And judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. And you'd rather she didn't? I would rather she did what makes her happy. And I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery. And we have striven to save others like me ever since. Was he a bearer this himself? was not the life my sister wanted, nor the one she deserves. I won't let her give up on her dreams again for my sake. She freed me from my bonds. And she must be freed from hers in turn. You're a good man, Theo. I have always been grateful for what my sister did for me. And I want to repay the favor. By letting her live her own life. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it down. For my sake. She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. To show her that I don't need to be watched over anymore. Though I'm sure I'll still need some help from time to time. I trust that I can count on you. Always. Thank you, Clive. Well then, I had better get back to work. These bearers aren't going to move themselves. <laughs> That's a job for the Crimson Caravans. Crimson Caravans. around finishing off these side quests. I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Oh yeah, this guy was gonna like go murder somebody. Yeah. You know That's what you have to do. Clive, I fear that I must bid you farewell. As you know, our time grows short. The Lord Chief Justice's vultures are circling. We must strike now. Before we part, I want you to know that, though I may not always have been your most vocal ally, I trust you. As I trusted your predecessor. Thank you, predecessor. I appreciate the sentiment. And I understand more than anyone how you feel. But is revenge really the answer? It is the one I found. And it is all that I have lived for since that day. But what of Lostwing? Everything you've built. I built Lostwing to achieve this aim. Hmm. Once it is done, the village will have served its purpose. My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight to the last, come what may. But there are those among us who cannot fight. Children. The elderly. 
bearers afflicted by the curse. I would place Lostwing in their hands, if I thought it would do them any good. But a village home only to the frail and the infirm is not likely to stay a safe haven for long. And so, Clive, I find myself turning to you once more. Will you take them to your hideaway? That they might live, even should Lostwing die. I will. Thank you. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well-being of those who rallied to my cause. The people I speak of have withdrawn to Goten's Bales, away from danger in case the Black Shields strike. Understood. I'll make sure they get to the hideaway safely. Then the last of my preparations are complete. Fare you well, Clive. And may Grigor guide us. All of us. A great justice. Not too far. But I'm not running there, so... Two gill on the floor. One left there, two gill on the floor. Five gill. Well, minuscule. So why even bother? <laughs> Have me on the floor. Hello, friends. Everyone. Quinton has asked that you come with me. You can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the Master thinks best. Sid, none of us would be standing here today if it weren't for Master Quinton. We owe him our lives. So we ain't about to start telling him what he should do with this. If he's saying we ain't safe in Lost We're gonna no get ready for work, Becca. All right, it's he have a good day. Back. Thanks for hanging out. But if that's what has to happen, hope work goes so well. Here. I only hope you can see this through to the end. That we get to see justice done. Justice I done. hope so too. Oi! Oi? Oi. You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. Fuck! 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 What's wrong? I've just come from the Justice's Manor! We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't just the Black Shields protecting the place. Oh. He's got a guard dog and all. A fucking monster. That's one of the Imperial doggers. There's a chance against that thing. If I don't get the message to them, they're all gonna fucking die. No. We can't let this happen. See, don't worry about us. You've got to catch up with him. We can't let Quinton die before that bastard does. All right. I'll do what I can. Where is this manor? Uh, it's way over to the east, through the woods. Heaven Hall, he calls it. Heaven Hall. Promise us, Sid. Promise us you'll do what you can. Gotcha. That's far as hell. <laughs> so far. We're definitely taking the Chocobo to this one. Girl. Yeah. Don. I forgot. What? Girl, but the next version of it. Ah! Shoot at me. I think at this point I just want right. to deal with hunts and side quests. I really need it to kill right up there. Alright, we're coming in. Clive, look. No, don't tell me we're too late. We deserve a rest. Look at that pile of bodies.
I look too late. Look at this. Quinton, what happened? Quinton, are you all right? No. But I am alive. Which is more than I can say for my comrades. They followed me without question all the way here. And they died for nothing. Oh yeah, what happened to the beast? But the girl. This must be here. the guard dog, Quinton. I'll hold it off. You go. But your comrades didn't die for nothing. They died for you. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. I won't. Come on, then. That is no good guard dog. <laughs> just blasted in his belly. If only we'd arrived earlier. Did he finish the deed? Looks like it. Is it over? This is. He wept. Oh, Jesus. And begged for mercy. And I cut him from ear to ear. <laughs> just as I dreamed of doing all these years. Wild. All my plans. Building a haven in Lostwing. Freeing bearers from their chains and recruiting them to my cause. It was all for this. But what is this? Justice. My faithful comrades, all those lives lost, so that I might take another. Quinton. Master Quinton! Oh, thank Grieger you're safe. You. You're alive. And so are you. I'm so sorry. I, I tried to warn you about that thing and I hate to say it but uh -oh. there's more bad news it's lost wing it's been flooded what what like water flooded was it flooded probably I'm flooded by ether yeah by ether People definitely can't stay here anymore. What if that means we had to clear it of any Akashic beasts? Lost wing. My lost wing. Yep, there it is. And look who's here. Those black shields. They must have stolen in after we left just before the flood struck. What if there are still people in there? Don't be a fool! Although, is Quentin going to turn into one too? Steve. I don't know if he's uh... It's not going to last long in there. Oh. Then we finish this quickly. Yeah, even bears can't be in there.
lot of experience to level up here. Probably like 10,000 or so. Need to get back to Quentin. 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 Look at me. Pick him up. Carry him He has done. I'm going to get you out of here. Some time later. Kind of interesting because his apron makes him look like a butcher, and yeah, he pretty much butchered <laughs> the guy he uh has been trying to hunt down all these years. Whatever. Welcome back to the land of the living. Is Lost Wing? Oh, it's lost. The flood has filled the valley. <laughs> oh. I see. Then all is at an end. A strange way to achieve one's life's ambition. Now, Master Quinn, save your strength. Why? That's the thing with revenge or whatever. It's all that I strove for is gone. Yeah. Only emptiness remains. I think if you get keep lost wing, that would be fine, but I have nothing left to live for. Yeah. What the heck are you on about? Oh. You've got us, ain't ya? Don't try telling me you're only free to so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. I I thought you weren't coming back. But I prayed and I prayed and you did. There's got to be a reason for that. Right? Can't we just go back to how it was? You know, you looking after us all. Your work ain't over yet, Master Quinton. How much you believed that you were the right man to lead us, and we still do. Your village may be lost, but it seems your people aren't, so long as you remain to guide them. But why? After what I... Why would anyone follow me? Because we're family, aren't we? <laughs> family? Yeah, and all our comrades who went with you, they felt the same. Lost Wing weren't just a village. It was all of us. It was. And as long as we're still here, it is too. We can start again. Build a new Lost Wing, right here in the Bales. A fresh start. One life ends, and another begins. Why just a village? We could build towns. A nation, even. What's to stop us? That's the Master Quinton we know. Please, I am nobody's master. Quinton will suffice. After all, we are family. All family. <laughs> Turning into Fast and Furious. <laughs> Permit me to withdraw my request. What? I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never asked. <laughs> but you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. You saved my life twice over. And more besides. A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Yeah. Of course. Nothing but the best. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage will be the finest yet. If you don't mind waiting, that is. I look forward to it. What do you think for the thing? What's this? Wicked Wheel. Oh yeah, Wicked Wheel. What's Wicked Wheel? I'm a Gruda move I don't use. Wait, one more side quest and we can go back to the hideout. One up in here.
little Martha. Ah, Clive. Just the man I was hoping to see. Oh? And why is that? You remember how some of Sir Wade's guardians took up residence here after the Akashic attacked? Well, now the rest have come to join him. Seems our barracks in the Lazarus have been lost to an ether flood. Now, I don't mind having a few more brave boys around to keep them animals at bay. I ain't daft after all. But we ain't got nowhere for them to bed down. Poor buggers are having to make do with haylofts and chocobo pens. Chocobo pens. I'd build them a new barracks here if I could. But where would I put them? There just ain't enough room up here on the rock. Which leaves us in a bit of a pickle. The people we're counting on to keep us safe are living like beggars. I see. And it isn't just that lot. There's bears to think about too. There's been more and more of them turning up lately, coming from all over looking for safe haven. But there's only so many we can shelter with the room we've got. We can't keep cramming more and more people into less and less space. What we need is a new home for our new arrivals. And that's what I was hoping you might help me with. If it ain't too much of a burden, of course. Wasn't there like some other village? It's no burden. In the marsh somewhere they can... Thank you, Clive. Build us. So, where were you thinking of making this new home? Well, I reckon we could do a lot worse than Eastpool. Eastpool? It's been a long time since I thought about that place. It was a tragedy, oh. what happened. And if any of us could have done anything to stop it, we would have. But what's done is done. And those about? who lived there wouldn't have wanted the village they loved to be left in ruins. I suppose you're right. The blight might be pressing in. But I reckon it's got a good few years left in it yet. There's just one problem. A band of cutthroats have made it their den. What pants? And they don't seem like they'll people. be moving on in a hurry. Nasty bastards they are too. I've lost some good men to their raids. Would have sent someone to clear them out sooner if my boys didn't already have their hands full fending off the Akashic. But now we've got a few more guardians of the flame to call on. I reckon it's time we made our move. What do you say? Fancy leading a raiding party? I do. East Pool was once home to people I loved. I won't have bandits sully those memories. I'll gladly drive them out of there. And I know the men will gladly follow you. I've already shared a few thoughts with Sir Wade about how we might be able to win the place back. And I dare say he's got some ideas of his own too. Oh, we're not just Why gonna... Why you go and talk to him? Of course. Merch them through the front. Let's kill everybody. <laughs> All the gang members. Back to Eastpool. Not just yet. Let's hear Wade's plan first. So, Wade, it's good to see you well. And you, Lord Rossfield. And you. I spoke with Martha. She tells me you have plans to free Eastpool and make it your own. That's right, though it was mostly her idea. I rather fear my men have been treading on her toes somewhat since joining us, not to mention each other's. And then there are the bearers, men and women who found the courage to flee their masters and sought refuge here. We need somewhere to settle them, and I can think of worse places than Eastpool. As can I. Which is why I agreed to help you win it back. That's very kind of you. I'd be most grateful if you would. With you beside us, we shall soon send that rabble of rogues running oh. for the hills. So, what can you tell me? That thankfully there aren't too many of them. Fewer than a dozen at our last count. And rather less, thankfully. The road that leads there will more than likely still be crawling with Akashic. A small force would suffice to clear the village. But if the Akashic were to follow them in, that force could end up trapped between a rock and a very hard place indeed. I'll head into Eastpool and deal with the bandits. Yep. You and the guardians can stay outside the village and fend off yeah. any Akashic who come too close. Make sure I'm not taken unawares. I can't ask you to bear all that risk yourself, my lord. The Akashic are the bigger risk. Yeah. I can handle a few bandits. Well, if you're sure, see. I shall summon my men at once. Shall I wait for you here? No need, my lord. You go on ahead. We'll be with you before long. Alright. I'll meet you at Eastpool then. We shall see you there. 
and may victory await our coming. Yeah, this place got ransacked. I'll well, probably just try it. There's supposedly another hunt north of here. Just since I'm in this area, I might as well try and see if I can go. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Oh, what the heck? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Get out of my time zone. That's the end of that then. It'll be a bigger boy. Oh, ugh. Well, maybe not. Ugh. Who's here? What's he doing here? Doesn't matter. It goes to. Display, my lord. You were watching. I thought you were keeping an eye out for Akashic. We were. Put down more than a few on the road, then arrived just in time to see you slay that. whatever it was. Goose Goops? Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Though I expect you and the Guardians will be up to the challenge should another appear. I would hope so, my lord. Your men will be bringing the bearers who'll be living here, I assume. Hey, the black shield's wet. It might be best to send word for them to come right away. Destroyed everything. Before any other unsavory characters move in. Well, I'm mistaken. Of course. I'll send orders for them to depart immediately. Leave it with me, my lord. Some time later. Home. Without masters. No. We're the masters now. Our lives are our own at last. That's all of them. And not a single Akashic in sight. Now to begin the important work of rebuilding the place. It won't be easy. Especially not after five years of beasts and blackguards having their wicked way with the place. The masonry might still be sturdy enough, but half the beams are rotted. Those that weren't lost in the fire or burned by the bandits, that is. It'll take a bit of elbow grease, but we'll see Eastpool rise again. Just you wait. So wait. Lady Hannah is buried here. If you don't mind, I'd like Oscar to join the rebuilding efforts. He should be a part of this. Of course. I couldn't agree more. I'll let Martha know that everyone arrived safely. If you need anything more, you have only to send a stolas. And we will, my lord. Safe travels. Eastpool lives again. So right there, I think it's supposed to be it. 
Let's go tell Martha the good news. Yeah, it's supposed to be like an S rank hunt up here somewhere. Sure, but check it out and see maybe. Ooh. No potion. Too bad I need high potions because I used two of them. Definitely. Alright, Joshua, can you open this? Joshua! Joshua! Yeah, Joshua. Let's see what that's right. I guess that doesn't activate till later? I don't know. Maybe after the Odin thing. And... Deal with other stuff. I wonder if we can even go this way. Ooh, high push too. I think how the blight is only oh, can't go in again. Alright. So I don't know where that hunt is, so don't worry about it right now. If there are any other like smaller hunts or easier hunts, then I guess I can look for that too, but otherwise we can finally get back to the main story. There you are. All went well then. So Wade told me you got rid of the bandits while his lot kept an eye out. Nicely done. And what's all this about some shape-shifting nightmare showing up? <laughs> yeah, On good. second thoughts, don't tell me. It'll only give me nightmares of my own. What matters is you did it. And now we can build our new village. I suppose it will be. What will you call it? What else? Eastpool. Sir Wade said it best. There's plenty bad happened to that place, but that don't undo the good that happened there. No need to throw <laughs> the baby out with the bath war. Did Wade say that? Well, something along those lines. <laughs> anyway, the poor souls might have made it to Eastpool, but their work ain't done yet. So the way I see it, neither is mine. If it's food or lumber or strong backs they need, the rest is ready to provide it. Thank you, Martha. No, thank you. You didn't have to help us. I wanted to. Mm -hmm. Good guy. To the hideout. Oh, thank. Yeah, there's no new recipe. Check the hunt board. New hunt. Oh, I don't have enough for a new reward yet. Okay. What new hunts we got there? Uh, oh, it's another S rank one. Oh, B rank. And in black. Where this is. Echo Worlds. Urgent notice to all curse breakers due to the discovery of a fallen giant in the Rosarian ruins. We have likely or lately been investigating all work in the region is to be halted with immediate effect, and all members are to proceed no further than the village gate, lest the echo should be awakened by our presence. I guess one that's like where we went to walk. Um, but no. Sick brock. 
Legend tells us of a dread dragon who set near half the realm alight with his atorid breath. We're sealed away, or being sealed away behind a magical mist by Gregor herself. Some sources claim, though it has been uh, forgotten which parts of the tale are true and which are mere myth. The recent reports of a great dragon's roar reverberating around the woodland passes of the Empire are real enough. The greater part of the, those black shields who spied on Lostwing were taken by this Aether Flood. However, we have received reports that one yet survives. A zealot of their evil causes persists in delivering any bear who strays too close to his hiding place to gruesome death. Oh, Lostwing, so that's pretty much where we were. So I can definitely get to do that one. Like, easiest spot. But these other two, I don't know no idea. Ruins of... Which... Lost one. Here? Hanged man. Just run around and find out. I feel like maybe it's in that little cellar where we fought the, the harpies. Otherwise, I guess it could just be in the middle of this place somewhere. Teleport back to the village faster than running through the cellar. It's where we fought the harpies. And there it is. Hello, sir. You're out of place. Holy Trumpeteur.
best. But he's a big boy. Big boy. Your work here is done. Thanks. Uh, buy some stuff. Buy one of each potion, and they can hold a stone skin potion. And what can I do for you? You've a keen eye. An excellent choice. Oh, You've a keen eye. An excellent oh, choice. I can probably sell a bunch of my thingies. Bugs. Thank you. Black blood. That's the best I can do. Oh, love black blood. I doubt you'll get more than that in the capital. That's the best I can do. Pretty sure. It. I doubt you'll get more than that in the capital. That's the best I can do. I'll be here if you need me. Uh. Right, let's go back to the main quest. I wonder if I can trade in for the next renowned reward. Did you see that? You see it. If I look up to see where the two hunts are. You say, Clive. Yeah, talisman of prank. You earned this. Is that for best of luck out there, Sid? Limit break, I think. Limit break. Uses Lionheart tonic duration by 30 seconds. Yeah, I think that's the break tonic. Anyways. This, this quest, or this main quest, underway. Ooh. Three cities of Kanbar. Sounds like thunder. Oh, that's the code word. <laughs> Sounds like that. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. It's made in the uncle. Any trouble on the road? Uncle. Nothing we couldn't <laughs> handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. I think it is. Uh. Allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. I read and listen most of the time. Name's Mididol. But Mididol. everyone calls me Mid. That's a cute name. Oh. My lady. Hey. <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> He's too formal. It's kind of cute, though. My boy, <laughs> Uncle Byron. Uh. 
It's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Twenty years now. So these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. I wonder if uh, Barnabas is speaks true, other guy, right hand man. We saw more than a few in the city. It's the guy they moved in ranks for the purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Well, I mean, Ultima is Perhaps. part of all that. Anyways. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few others on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what about us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you'd better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron! That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter-snipe! <laughs> Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You think my lady will? You too. Oh, we in right, there. Hogel. Let's find those survivors. Oh. I just realized we uh, all split up. They don't stand a chance against those things. There's orcs. It's like orcs. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> don't. Oh, the hell are dead. Level 20. Oh, what? They're wearing my armor. Oh. Use you. I don't know. Use that. Right. 
see how that last guy, the assassin, was the only one that kind of like melted away. What? bravery.
stats. Hundred. Hundred strength. A lot of gil. Oh, I'm already full health since I just leveled up. I think we're going through the gates. Very busy. Right. I love how they call it or Potter. A lot of friends. So bad right now. <laughs> I'm hot, Tarzan. I keep dodging so early. Pray that's good. Finally, a good dodge. to that. One slice, they all died. Some of gonna be like potions. Yeah. Ooh, high potion. Chest. Oh, what's this? Uh, player breath I'm not using. What is the name of the thing? Giga player, right? That's what this is called. Yep, yeah, Giga player. Yeah, I'm using impulse. Would I rather use flare breath? Is the question. I think what's good about impulse is that you can just cast it and then do whatever. I don't have to just sit here and. Like, breathe on him. Those probably does more damage. Probably marginally more. I think having it uh, stun fairly well is probably better. What are we fighting in here? These creatures. Something is raging down this hall. What the hell is going on here? What is your master? That was a bad ignition. Oh, 
just gonna be blasting that thing, actually. Uh oh. You oh, this guy. Quite the commotion. This guy. Oh, is he a I would expect no less from you, Muthos. Muthos. You oh, again. I think he's just armored. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crit. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men. Like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills Butter. that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You pay for what you've done. As you wish. Yep. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Then meddling. Pardon me, affairs. this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. Uh -oh. I am the main man of House Harbor. Yeah. And you will yield. Is he uh or not? As long as you don't hold back. That I am overleveled. Now, for this a gift from my liege lord's army. Gungnir. Here. Watch closely, Mythos. It's probably the lance rather than here. I'm oh, sorry, you the bad. Yes! Yes!
a super big jump. But like in beams instead of dropping down on uh Oh. I wasn't gonna pay attention to that was. I'm still not paying attention. Well done. I'm about to die. <laughs> oh. Like, what's going on? But <laughs> definitely not enough to level up. Let's say, ooh, I'm getting a new sword pretty soon. The vessel is strong. My leash. We're gonna finish him. We're just gonna leave him there. I mean, he's probably dead, but we'll make certain. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I feel we were all too late. Yeah, they're all dead. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. Is this guy not dead? Why is it? <laughs> okay, he's fading away. Oh. Odin! He's coming for us because we killed this dude. Dude, man. Leaving so soon, Mythos? Mythos. It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walud. Not today. Get back. He doesn't use his thumb and sword, <laughs> whatever. 
I actually don't know what Odin's sword's called. <laughs> style is too wild, easily defended against, I suppose. At least by this guy. Wild and impetuous. I expected more of the boy who bested my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. <laughs> My leg. Stop calling me Muthos. But Muthos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. My purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing. is my own. I made a promise to my friends, uh -oh. to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Uh -oh. No. Limit break. I guess I'm gonna cheap sword. <laughs> Sacrifice yourself. Oi! Oi! This way! Hurry! I'll do it, Jill. Aw. Oh. Good job, girl. Grab the sword. Not gonna be good, Jill. A bad feeling, Jill. Power beyond reckoning. And they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. Go, <laughs> Yes, Jill. Will he be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly's filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. <laughs> if the guild's caught wind of what we're up to, they don't want a piece. Where's Jill? All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> A 
allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. Take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? it? You got mad or something? I wouldn't go that far. Yay. Life! You're awake, my boy. Where's Jill? Oh. <laughs> All I want to do is help. Jill. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who told me that? Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. Jill! What of the royalists? What of Jill? Fucked <laughs> off. A lot of them. Along with the galleon. Jill. With the king on board, no doubt. Behind here, you wouldn't sail without him. Yeah. Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. We're gonna go get her. You could also be it's captured, right, actually. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. As long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. Pretty sure she's captured, if anything. <laughs> We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, yeah. I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him. Because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril Engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? <laughs> well, of course I do. My devil has seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. Mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. General. See if there's a new thing Get I can grab. Yep, there he is. Oh. Let me tell you a story, Clive. I just wanted to buy some right. potions. <laughs> Them rumours wet legs were spreading. Wet legs? Might be they weren't just tails plucked out of thin air. You see, there was a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me? I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day... One day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition I sold to him and his alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He were true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. 
told me about his plan to topple the mother crystals, you know. Said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint gill. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest damn in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardyway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up. Or you'll have me to answer to. I'll sell me. My potions. Still alive, are ya? Yep. <laughs> Coin purse weighing you down. What's got this? Ooh, this is new, but I'm pretty sure I can craft something better. Yeah, it's only two. What's all this? Okay, I don't really need all this. A break. All this stuff that I don't need. Yeah. yeah, I meant to use potions, but I just uh can't be used. <laughs> High potions. Oh, would it be? Yeah. Yeah, we can just craft the rune blade. We can craft the rune blade one, actually. Be better. It lasts you a good while. My best work, but it'll do. Is this better? Not better at all, actually. Because the extra HP is not enough. You don't want it. This is good though. The rune crystals. It lasts you a good while. You can thank me later. Thank you, my later. And thanks, um, Blackthorn. I'm gonna go my new sword. Mm, looks okay. Cole said it was an army of a Like a black blade. How are we supposed to new hunt? To looks like. The bluebird. The sickle. Tamekia. Like Kill that guy. I guess I'll need these two. I'll probably look at where they're located off stream and then we'll do it at some point. Um, Hunters of Taubar speak of a wild chocobo that haunts not only the nearby badlands but also their dreams. For it exhibits a ferocity rarely seen in the species and has ripped more than a dozen of their comrades from gizzard to groin and feasted on their flesh. The bird is far past taming. It must be put down. It's the sickle. Uh, let me see where the sickle is. I can go there. Down back here. Oh. Well, must be where we were kind of roaming. Oh, the sickle. Oh, it's probably here. Okay. Alright, Otto. What's up? Glive. Glive. Be you're here. Well, how does everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by ours, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items would go to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, 
That would have been meat. Then I'll check the workshop. Nah, uh, search midges. Oh, midge. Mids dungeon. Uh, wait. Is that this way? But it goes up and then comes back down. If Amber and the Lazarus are gone, do you think this ship will ever send? Oh, is it right here? This looks like the ship's old diary. Uh, Mitchell already have read it. I better keep looking. It's dungeon. We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell oh, me what, what else am I looking at? I remember seeing this doll in Sitzer. I wonder if it was Miz. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? Uh, mid doll. Uh, I know you like your riddles, so I appreciate. I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my inventions, this one's the best. And so, when choosing its place of rest, I recalled your opus, uh, daughter dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first. I'm gonna have to work on that last rhyme. <laughs> Sid. Sid's best invention. Huh. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Dr. Otto. Perhaps Otto might know. She couldn't have been more than more, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together. It surprised us all, not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was in the little scamp. What's that about old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. said it was an army of a the orchestra. Oh, so the jukebox. I didn't realize that's what it was. I didn't break it. No. Well, I didn't break it. I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Hmm? Nothing. We didn't break Nothing. The... We definitely didn't break the orchestra. What's wrong with it? It's broken! Except broken. when it isn't. See? What? And you had nothing to do with this? Nope. Nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we pressed all the buttons. Like this. Yep. See? 
Sim. All too well. <laughs> All right, out of the way. Move it. But yeah, it looks like the next quest is to gather more materials and such so that Mid can reinforce her ship. I'm guessing it's not an airship, I don't know. I think it's supposed to be an airship, but we'll see. So we can cord on one of the gears. Did you break it? Can you fix it? No, I mean, yeah, yes. There. How about now? You fixed it! You said fix it! He more than fixed it! More yeah. than fixed New music! <laughs> New music? Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. Mm -hmm. I can tell you it's important though. Yeah, kind of looks like a spark plug. Me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> It's just like it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Hey. <laughs> Funny little quest. Like Father McDonald. Like Rude. Uh, probably a probably good spot to end things. See you after this cutscene. Just the two I was looking for. How are you? Hi, hi. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Oh, Dion. Dion left. Unless you've another word for stood up and walked <laughs> off. Yes, left. Yeah. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Dinghies. Should we go after him? No. Yeah. We're not the prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. Yeah, he's free I'd now. rather he did so in bed. <laughs> His wounds are nowhere near healed. He's Much Bahamut. like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? <laughs> got shit to do. Ask me when I get back. Though I may be sleeping. Then at least try to stay safe. If that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Interesting, Dion is gone right now. I wonder where, how he's gonna play a role in the future. So left to waste here. I don't think. The further the flagship sails. Oh, well, there's more side quests. I have to get back. Alright, we'll definitely do a side quest later, too. Alright, let me just see. Wait, if it's only here that's a side quest, maybe I'll just do it. Shouldn't be that bad. It's only one side quest. Like, oh, two. Well, let's see. Can't be too bad. Let me just do them real quick. All right, Clive. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit um worried about him, and you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, posh and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe... I'll speak to him. I speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Kai. Yes. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. And let me talk to right. the other side quests. The since we're you come along when you're ready. Here. Blacksmith Blues number three. 
it is pretty fun where you just keep having side quests with some of the main characters. Oh, some, is this Tarya? Need some help? Or is it the other guy? That was the other guy. Yeah, again. Conk. Glory to Griga. There you are. The last time he was afraid to uh, soon. cut off, not cut off, but do surgery on one of the Tarya's other bearers. Herself into an early grave. Uh, Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused Mark. to stop even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. I know better than to order Tai to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Well, Taya, Rodrigo's worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. I will. When it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The Crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, yes. I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. <laughs> tears of mercy. Not my tears. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't, Tyre. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. Oh, it's like you a poison. Well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I... I will. We have... All the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwan. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norland, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. Um, we teleport back to the front. Actually, one second. Yeah. What the other plus sign is? I just talked to Blackthorn. Yeah. The Blackthorn. Oh, there's another quest down there. I didn't realize. Is he meditating? Is he asleep? Bloody hell, Clive. Not this again. You've got better things to do with your time. That remains to be seen. August tells me he showed you a ring, and that the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. Mate? Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't a ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's right. all. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? <laughs> so be like that. Leave me alone. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned it before. Why would I? 
Been seeing him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. What than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving Mel's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer is another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Sultan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride. And focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravoz, my old village. He won't have left. It's the chief. Javosh, eh? That rings a bell. They're not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravosh as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. Hey, let's get on. Yeah, there's a... Uh... Uh, so there's a side quest down here. Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root. But they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with Morbles. I know, I know. But hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a marble vine to a Morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor and using oh, nutrients to find might well marble. stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. Let's do it. And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But, as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do. As do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? Okay. Use the handboard to locate an extraordinary marble. Alright. Do I want to do all these? <laughs> I feel like it's a lot more than I bargained for. Maybe I should just do the hunts. I mean, actually do the actual side quests later. Or I can do the opposite. I can just... Oh, wait, where am I going? Am I going the right way? 
maze sometimes. I think it's this way. If it's knowledge you see. about marble sightings. Here, your brother isn't a fan of carrots, Koopo. If every carrot of Rosaria is anything like the one that just got posted on the board, I can see why, Koopo. Carrot. Oof. I fought one of these way back when. The spring waters of Rosaria. You should come across a red carrot protruding from the marshes of the three reeds. Do not attempt to pull it from the swampy soil. It is, in truth, another root vegetable. Uh, entirely. Uh, an exotic species of morble that uses a more modified care like vine as a lure to draw its prey close before emerging from the earth and swallowing them whole a uh, cruel way for nature or nature to turn these times of mm, privation to her advantage oh yeah where was it <laughs> I'm on rosaria right it's rosaria yeah, whispering Waters. Uh, what was this other one? Uh, the uh, Chocobo one. Bluebird. The Sickle, Damaki. Uh, Zarya. Uh, I already forgot what the place was called. <laughs> I think it's in, oh the whispering waters right there. All right, so that's a very easy one to find. Um, harder one is this one. It's sickle, I believe. There's the other thing. Sickle right there. Uh, let's try to go find this hunt. Let's find this hunt first. There's the black beard thing. And yeah, all right. Good girl. Right, I think I can put a weight marker down. How do I put a weight marker down? Select or select. I'm gonna put it there first. We'll make our way. It could just be right here. I don't know. We'll see. Again, it's a bluebird. You should be able to see it from a mile away. So, yeah. didn't run into the bluebird there. Maybe it's around here. No. All these other... Let's see. Let's keep it rolling. Ilkikis. Definitely not that guy. No holding back. Goblin mugger. Go and take care of these guys for fun. Delete that and let's just keep going that way. It's weird not having a party. 
Joshua's not here either. Oh, as he is, I just did it. Probably in that big plain area. Let's go. Where we can find. Obviously, it, the sickles just might be this whole area. Hopefully, it's not up there though. Yeah, let me just. Fly, Ambrosia. Try going this way. What? Hopefully, I can find it. So I do need to get our end stream pretty soon, so I can get ready for volleyball. And eat something, rest a little bit, and get my mind ready for the next battle on the court. In this, oh, yeah, yeah, found you. Rainbow Joker. All right, Rainbow <laughs> Dread Comet. What kind of name is this? Way too early. I keep dodging early. So I'm afraid of getting hit. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. It's kicking my ass. <laughs> Why do I. Damn it. <laughs> I keep dodging way too early. There we go, finally. Okay. I also realize it doesn't have a stagger meter. I'm not gonna play around with that. I probably can't jump that. Rick. Help me, boy. Thanks, boy. Pop hook. Damn it. <laughs> Wait, I can't. Oh. Oh, there's 
multiple meteors. Experience and that money. Come on, brother. I just mean there was nothing I could do. Yeah, just put it out of his misery. All right, go ahead and go to this side quest spot. I kind of do want to do them all. To get it finished, but I'll just do this last whatever part right here. We'll come back uh, later tonight if I'm up for it. trying to do, you little prick. You ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. <laughs> it isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. All right. Just... Don't go starting anything with the chief. Yeah, I'll promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you? Go on then. Yeah, much obliged. This is Dravosht. 
Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Zoltan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. But if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our key? Earn our key. Hi, Mum. Hello? Where is Zoltron? Hotter, damn it! Something? Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron! Oops, that guy. Pardon <laughs> the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. Oh, maybe not. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. <laughs> Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out, before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What do you say? He's travelled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! <laughs> These bearish flames are next to bloody useless! Ugh. We're never going to be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals! I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here, and neither are you. All right. I'm going. I don't know what happened between them. Or maybe they said what happened, but I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but, yeah. I think they were just rivals, I thought. But if there's something more. <laughs> How'd you know? As a personal favor to him, yes. <laughs> well, what are we gonna do? At least he didn't beat him out of the bush. Mm. There be no talking around. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Ravaged. Sultan, the burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. We will labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Sultan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit, and divvy out among themselves. It wasn't a single day we weren't each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravos in half had he gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravos prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. So the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. 
What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the great Smith for life just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shared Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. Yeah. This place was your home. Yeah. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valesthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Yeah. Dravosh will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way... Yeah, that way they won't need bearers to... Sid speak for me on the grave. Keep the furnaces hot. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. Oh. I'll need leather for the bellows and nothing else will stand a... Luckily for us, salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, man. Oh, okay. Come on. Watch this. Fly up Let's, uh, kill this thing. I think I should kill off the Marlboro too, but I'll just leave that for next time. Hopefully, I remember. Oh, I can put a waypoint there. Actually, let's do that. Um... Was she was here? Oh, it was right there. I can't put it outside the map. <laughs> Dang it! Has to be within the same region. I mean, that's dumb. So I'll just try to remember. Oh, found something that killed something. Oh, there's salamander. Let's I am quick, shall we? half of the half dead. Be safe. But I don't kill or get killed. Oh, something that was a fireball. Outbook. Let's try. What? I forget this is like a side quest fight, so a lot of it, or uh, all the fights are usually easier. Plus level 35, uh, the birds we were fighting earlier was level 38. Oh, he almost died, because I kept trying to parry, <laughs> or whatever. Uh, dodge, perfect dodge, everything. We have a lot of ability points. Let's go ahead and teleport back to here. In sin, definitely should be going. What's this all about then? Don't know. Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> Easy. Hmm. There should be plenty. Right then, time to put these lads to work. 
Everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Well, I'll be damned. I honestly didn't think it'd work. But it's hot enough, all right, and without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. Dravoshed is saved. Sorry about it, Ian. This guy. I, uh, didn't take back everything I said. That thing you built us is. Honest to God's marvel. You saved our village. His blood told you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Head cold cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare <laughs> moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the end that will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius. Plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed. But he took all his talent and left. Gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first. And that's not gonna happen. Well, you know what they say. Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers while grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. Yeah. I reckon he's going to be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off with us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. Oh, uh, do you have to go back These myself? things are going to take some... Back to the hideouts. And I wonder if we can uh, craft a new weapon. Now that we got some extra nice things. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to have stay out welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltanes. Didn't see I nor hear of him. Oh, well, that reminds me. I have something for you. Pick old Cinder. How'd you come by this? Weapon wounds. And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. Huh. Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I can never leave this place, don't you? Every time you pull a nail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. Mm. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then it'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? A genius. <laughs> a genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? <laughs> Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. That's the best. Good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes. <laughs> but I'm grateful all the same. Now, 
Where was I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> About to put Zoltan back in his place. Ain't got the arts to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. <laughs> A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. <laughs> Forever Ryan. Black Ford's Rises. happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, Ouroboros. Belt end all belts. Did I see that right? <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna get the best belts in the realm. We can craft it now. Travel with your gear, or what do you want? Why? Okay. <laughs> Don't have enough for the belt. Dome time. Ori Jalcom. That's a little boss. Ori Jalcom. <laughs> Oh, mobile flower. Stained loincloth. There's a sword that I haven't. Nope. Yeah, Ouroboros is epic level rarity, looks like. Uh, yeah, not sure when I'll get it, but. Gotta keep doing these hunts, probably. Right. So that's it. That's it for now. Alright, let me go ahead and save and we can continue this later.